We hadn't uh, had a language at our school for over 20 years uh, before the opportunity arose for uh, applications for the Language Centre. Uh, we jumped at the opportunity um, because we thought it might be in a, a way of stimulating that interest uh, and involvement for our young people. It's always very challenging for country schools to attract a language teacher or a specialist teacher. We also had trouble getting a music teacher. And so we worked with our local primary schools to see whether we could um, uh, combine together uh, and, and add enough uh, um, lessons, enough subject content to be able to teach our languages. So uh, the Language Centre was certainly a stimulus for that because it provided uh, an opportunity and uh, it was certainly attractive for someone coming into the school um, starting off a new language course um, and getting that started for our young people. We also believe that it was really important uh, that we had a, a really strong ICT uh, opportunity for the study of languages um, to, to broaden it not from just one but to provide the opportunity for students to have perhaps uh, uh, open access or local delivery lessons for a range of subjects and we think that uh, ICT is a really important part of uh, the study of languages for young people today. started with uh, our attracting a person that, or that showed some interest in um, teaching of a language and asking them to work within our site just as an hourly paid instructor to begin with. Uh, what that did was stimulate an enormous interest from our young people uh, about the potential to do that in the future. I find it important to incorporate uh, IT resources and technologies into the uh, languages classroom because it's really engaging for the kids and it increases their productivity. Uh, there's lots and lots of collaborative resources and tools on the web that we can use so the kids can work together with other students in their class, other students in the school and anywhere in the world really. It promotes cross-curricular study which is one of the new Akara projects. We have um, nice computers that make our learning a lot easier and we get to use the technology advantages on the internet. So um, we're very yeah, lucky to have this and it's helping us with our language. First of all the Languages Centre has given uh, languages a, a real status. The, the physical presence of the building has given languages a status within the uh, curriculum and within the community. Uh, it shows that languages are being valued and it shows that they're a priority um, for our school and also from the Department of Education. The value of languages we see um, being very important for students to see things outside of their local. And, and of course we also believe that uh, the social and cultural aspects of the language study are really key parts of uh, the development for a young person. Um, and uh, with the Language Centre we've been fortunate to be able to uh, bring a community involvement into it um, with some after hours study. Um, so we're now seeing that young people working with adults uh, and, uh, and enjoying the study of language has uh, developed those relationships to a really high level. Uh, as part of our uh, development of our transition program we now include a Spanish lesson for all of the visiting Year 7 students and that has pro proven to be really popular and uh, a real stimulus for the young people when they come up in the following year knowing that they're going to be involved with that as a Year 8 student. We've also developed now a what we call a cultural committee within the school and that committee uh, predominantly works with obviously cultural events um, and uh, one of the a couple of the areas that I work with in our, 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 our exchange program so uh, they are responsible for approving exchanges uh, and helping match with the students with parents. There are two main streams of IT based language teaching resources um, and there's the community and the collaborative resources we use such as Edmodo which is a uh, it's like Facebook for the classroom really and we use that uh, our students have a pen pal relationship with the other students in our sister school in Toledo, which is which is really good. Um, and we use other collaborative things like uh, Voki, which is making avatars, and then we record our voice under the avatars. And then our sister school can look at them, or anybody can have a look at them that's got the password to get into them. Uh, and we use animation uh, uh, resources like GoAnimate or Extra Normal. 
Um, and we've had some really amazing examples of uh, the students creating animation and it gives the students extra uh, enthusiasm, extra impetus to, to put effort into the, the language that they're creating because they know that it's going to be, um, there's a chance that it'll be broadcast publicly and, and they want it to be broadcast publicly because they really enjoy what it is that they're doing. The other stream of uh, IT based language resources are really making up for the didactic style of, of teaching which is necessary in the languages classroom. To give you an example, there's still a lot of uh, rote memorization of vocabulary. Uh, we still have to learn how to conjugate verbs and that's just sitting down and doing and repetition and doing it over and over and over again. Our program is now also extended to uh, an exchange uh, opportunity for, uh, for this year. Hello, I'm Tolan and this is Barry and we're both in Grade 9 at Wakeru High School. And in, at the end of November until January, we're going on a Spanish exchange for five weeks. And there will be 10 people from this school going between years nine and 11. Just think that the exchange is a good opportunity to get to know what Spanish life is like and get to live with the family of there for 40 days. It'll help us with Spanish next year. And the week that all the Spanish people are doing all the exams and that, we'll be touring parts of Spain and looking at, looking at all the monuments and things that the Spanish people find close and having a look at them and seeing what it's like. Uh, for language teachers that have access to a language centre, I think one of the really important things is not to become overwhelmed by the amount of resources that are out there because there are literally hundreds of thousands of resources out there and if you try to investigate them all and you try to use them all, it will become overwhelming and you may end up not mastering any of them or not using any of them to their fullest potential. And for schools that have language centres, uh, don't just use them for language classrooms from years 8 to 12. Put them out there, put your language centre out there into the community. Uh, my advice for principals uh, considering starting up a language program within their site uh, is to start small. Really important that we get a good quality program to begin with to, to improve the, uh, to increase the enthusiasm. Um, and uh, to make sure that it's done in a fashion uh, that is not imposed uh, but is encouraged and students see the value of all aspects of the course.